At Sarah Cannon, people who live with cancer, those who work to prevent it, fight it, and survive it, are at the heart of every decision we make. Bringing the most innovative medical minds together with the most passionate caregivers in their communities, we're transforming care and personalizing treatment. A key component of the Sarah Cannon organization is the Blood Cancer Network. With this network, physician leadership, teamwork, and locations make the difference for our patients. Physician-led and patient-centric, we provide a best-in-class suite of integrated cancer services. What we've done is we've taken the physician thought leaders that are in our programs and the outstanding teams that they've developed, and we've challenged them to develop a platform in which they incorporate best science with best care for patients. It is a team approach. These are not treatments that physicians just deliver by themselves. It requires a coordinated and expert team consisting of nurses and technicians and therapists and administrators in order for us to achieve the best outcomes in our patients. Quality outcomes aren't possible without quality processes. From standard operating procedures to programs working with very immunocompromised patients, oversight and expectations are high. The Sarah Cannon Blood Cancer Network is one of the largest providers of blood and marrow transplantation, all performed with strict adherence to best practices. It's a high quality network. We didn't just take anybody into this network. The science is changing, the technology is changing. It seems like every few years we have a new advancement, and a new way to, to do things that's even better. So that makes it very exciting. We're very quick to pick up the phone, talk to our referring colleagues, give them feedback and advice, get patients in for referrals, and having that rapid access to the, the transplant services, um, as well as just on advice and, and, and managing these patients. Expertise and knowledge are cultivated at Sarah Cannon. Network-wide excellence depends on standardized levels of credentialing and education. In a rapidly changing care environment, standardization of processes is essential in order to ensure high quality outcomes. Caring for blood cancer patients is a very complex task. So you can't just do it anywhere. You can't do it somewhere where they don't have the infrastructure commitment to that patient population. This is really a unique structure individualized for stem cell and peripheral blood as well as marrow transplantation. It helps us follow donors, cell processing, uh, reinfusion of products, and then also has a checks and balance system where we're alerted if we're not following standards or if we have discrepancies within our data. Cancer overall as a disease is very complex. And what we need to do is ensure that with the technology that is out there today, we're able to pair that up with the advancements that we see out there in the clinical world and be able to give our clinicians the key technology to allow them to navigate a patient through the continuum of care process, as well as get them to the right treatment at the right time. The network includes some of the top thought leaders in the industry, providing improved community access to research and advancements in therapies. So one of the most important things for patients is not only improving how long they live, but the, the quality of life. And so the new molecules, the new therapies that we're using and, and are now being tested at Sarah Cannon um, have improved both. So they're improving the, the length of life. We're getting responses in patients that we've never seen responses before, um, even after the most intensive therapies. But we're also improving the quality of life for patients. So they're not having all the side effects that you associate with, uh, with standard chemotherapy. So this gets them back to their families, back to, back to work, and back into uh, a normal life. I'd say that the vast majority of patients that we approach are very interest in, interested in participating in the research. And there are many reasons for participating in, in the research from the patient's point of view. I think from the clinician's point of view, that it, I mean, it's a tremendous feeling that you've been able to make a contribution and then uh, be able to say to patients that uh, we have a treatment for you that, um, that may make a difference uh, in, your, in your quality of life or even potentially in, in saving your life. With a global reach and commitment to patient care and positive outcomes, 
The Sarah Cannon Blood Cancer Network is a leader in cancer treatment and research. Join us in our effort to bring these services to the patients who need them. Find out more about our facilities, physicians, high-quality programs and partnerships by visiting sarahcannon.com.